The United States operates the largest and most powerful fleet of aircraft carriers in the world, which are critical to projecting U.S. military power globally. Protecting these gigantic vessels, such as the Nimitz class and the newer Gerald R. Ford class carriers, is a top priority for the U.S. Navy. These ships are invaluable, but also highly vulnerable targets due to their size, strategic importance, and concentration of personnel and assets. To mitigate these risks, the U.S. Navy employs a comprehensive, multi-layered defense strategy. Carrier Strike Group Protection The cornerstone of protecting U.S. aircraft carriers is the Carrier Strike Group, a carefully assembled fleet of supporting vessels, including 1. Destroyers and cruisers Equipped with the Aegis Combat System, destroyers and cruisers play a critical role in providing air and missile defense. They can intercept incoming threats such as anti-ship missiles, aircraft and unmanned aerial vehicles. The Aegis system is capable of detecting, tracking and neutralizing multiple targets simultaneously, ensuring that enemy threats are neutralized far from the carrier. 2. Submarines Attack submarines, often Virginia class or Los Angeles class, travel with the strike group and operate beneath the water's surface. These submarines are responsible for anti-submarine warfare ASW, and can engage enemy submarines that might threaten the carrier. Submarines also play a reconnaissance role, using their stealth capabilities to detect potential threats early. 3. Logistics and support ships, fuel, ammunition, and other supplies are carried by auxiliary ships that are part of the strike group. These ships help keep the carrier operational in distant and contested waters for extended periods. Air Superiority and Surveillance 1. The carrier's air wing is its most prominent asset for defense and offense. The wing includes F-A-18 Super Hornets and F-35C Lightning I. These fighter jets are the carrier's primary means of maintaining air superiority, both in offensive strikes and defensive missions. They provide protection against incoming aircraft, UAVs, and surface vessels, and they can be deployed quickly in response to threats. 2. E-2D Hawkeye A key component of the Air Wing's defensive capability is the E-2D Advanced Hawkeye Early Warning Aircraft. Equipped with powerful radar systems, the E-2D monitors airspace over vast distances, detecting threats such as enemy aircraft and missiles long before they approach the strike group. It acts as an airborne command and control center, coordinating defense measures. 3. Helicopters MK-60R Seahawk helicopters serve multiple roles, including anti-submarine warfare, search and rescue, and logistics. These helicopters are equipped with sonar systems and anti-submarine torpedoes, enabling them to hunt down and neutralize enemy submarines. Missile Defense Systems Carriers are also directly equipped with several defensive systems. 1. Close-in Weapon Systems the Phalanx CIWS is a radar-guided rapid-fire gun system designed to shoot down incoming missiles and other small, fast-moving targets. It serves as the last line of defense if enemy threats manage to bypass the outer layers of protection. 2. CRAM and Rolling Airframe Missiles These are highly maneuverable, short-range missile systems designed to intercept and destroy incoming missiles and aircraft. The CRAM integrates the radar and launcher from the Phalanx CIWS with the precision of RAM missiles, adding another layer of defense against advanced threats. Electronic Warfare and Cyber Defense In addition to physical defenses, the U.S. Navy uses advanced electronic warfare and cyber capabilities to protect its carriers. One. Electronic countermeasures, aircraft carriers and their escort ships are equipped with ECM systems that can jam enemy radars, disrupt missile guidance systems, and obscure the carrier's true location. These systems reduce the likelihood of successful enemy targeting. 2. Cybersecurity 
Given the increasing importance of digital systems in modern warfare, the U.S. Navy also prioritizes cybersecurity. This includes protecting the carrier's computer networks from cyber attacks that could disrupt operations, communications, or even targeting systems. Strategic Mobility and Intelligence A final key component of carrier protection is intelligence and mobility. Carriers are constantly on the move, making it difficult for enemies to track and target them. The U.S. Navy uses intelligence from satellites, reconnaissance aircraft, and submarines to anticipate threats and reposition the strike group accordingly. By constantly shifting position and operating in the vastness of the ocean, aircraft carriers maintain an element of unpredictability. The carrier's mobility, combined with intelligence and early warning systems, makes it extremely difficult for adversaries to mount a successful attack. The U.S. Navy's ability to protect its aircraft carriers rests on a multi-layered defense system involving a carrier strike group, advanced missile defense systems, air superiority, electronic warfare, and strategic mobility. Each element contributes to safeguarding these vital assets, ensuring that they can continue their mission of power projection and global defense. In the evolving threat environment, this multifaceted approach remains essential for defending the U.S.'s most powerful warships.